Hey, everybody, it's Scott Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the Hump Day Cinco de Mayo edition of today in sports betting. Taking a look at the MLB. If you're looking for our NBA picks, that's on the previous video. Get yourself over there and check that out. But we're going to talk a little baseball right here, Scotty. Got some interesting games tonight. Otani back on the mound. That should be fun, huh? Maybe. <laughs> I know you and I are both like, why are they even starting this guy? Why bother? But sure. He, he doesn't go long. And when you lose his bat out of the lineup, man, him, you know what? Okay. We, I don't we, even we, see a line on Otani. There isn't one because Tampa's undecided. They don't have a picture. Ah, okay. So we, we I, li- I like Tampa regardless, but sure. Let's talk about Atlanta, Scott. Max Freed makes his triumphant return after three weeks on the IL. He's all fixed now, buddy. He's all fixed. Well, in the beginning of the season, Max Freed looked pretty fried. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. I'll be here all week. There you go. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Not not good. Not good. uh, 11-plus ERA when he he went down with a slight hamstring uh, uh, tweak. But he said he fixed his timing. Yeah, say he was uh he was finishing a little early, wasn't driving through the ball. So we'll see. Apparently he's uh he's figured out something to get his timing right. And my guess is his hamstring wasn't that bad. I think they just wanted to fix him. I think it was probably a mix of the two. I don't think he had a three I put it this way, I don't think he had a three week hamstring injury. That's fair. All right. Also tough to send a guy to the minors when there is no minors. That's exactly right. So, um, I think that uh, I'm not. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced he's back, Scott. It, but who's he pitching against? You no, know, that's a that's a great question. It's uh, it's Fetty Wap, buddy. It's, he's actually he's, decent in his last start. He's been good. He he had a uh, like a like a duel last time out, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah, uh, the Nationals in this spot, they're actually. Uh, a little bit of an underdog to Max Freed. And I don't, I'm not sure I don't like that, Scott. I'm just, I, I want to see, I want to see Freed look anything like he did last year when he had, you know, the two and a quarter ERA, he was just nails. Yeah. But he wasn't good uh, down the stretch and he wasn't good to start the season. So I want to see what happens for me. I know you've got a play that you like on this game. I would probably take Washington at you know whatever that is plus 125 or so uh well checking the best line right now i see 114 okay uh i don't know if other books have better lines but fanduel is 114 you're looking at DraftKings. i'm looking at fanduel all right because uh draft kings draft kings has it at minus 137 so i'm guessing we're going to get a little better price there okay uh, well for the sake of uh this game i like the over okay. uh, same reasons that you just mentioned uh the over is eight and a half so you also have the 4-4 extra ending draw. Freed has been awful this season, and I know you can claim that he's healthy now and whatever. He still hasn't faced MLB quality hitting in a couple weeks. Right. Nationals have Soto back in the lineup, so, you know, that should be pretty uh, fun for Freed to deal with. Meanwhile, you have Fetty Wap, who pitched well in his last start, but I, don't, I, I think we both know he's not very good. They're giving me 8.5. Both bullpens also can be blown up every now and then. But you're looking at the lineups. Nationals lineup isn't very good, but having Soto back helps. Meanwhile, Atlanta's lineup is good. And Acuna has been killing the ball at homeward again last night. So, eight and a half, I think, is too low. I like the over in the spot. All right. That's, uh, that, that's fair enough. I can, I, can, I can get behind that. And this is – yeah, the, the weird thing is that the Washington pen has been inexplicably good. And I don't know where that's come from. And the Atlanta pen has been inexplicably bad. They've been even worse on the road. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with my plus money pick there on Washington. I don't, I don't hate the over. I think that's a good play. I think it's just another way of fade and freed. I, I think that that total is gonna close at nine. So I think getting it eight and a half has some value to it. You think they're gonna? You think that's gonna close at nine in the national in the National League? Well, uh, Fanduel already has it at eight and a half and minus one fourteen. So there already is some juiced over money to it. I think it's gonna go to nine. Oh, huh, okay. You yeah. know, that's that's bull. That's a bull strategy, Cotton. We'll see how that pays off for him. Um, I was, I was just looking to see. Uh, Fetty was uh, – I want to see if he made two good starts in a row if it was just the one. Maybe in the minors. Uh, if Fetty, if Fetty made uh, – you know, Scotty's actually been good in, in three of his last four. He's given, up, he's given up one run in three of his last four. Problem is, he don't go long. 
Nope. You get six out of Fetty, you're going to be in uh, really counting your blessings. So yeah, you're going to get the, you're going to get the bullpen involved here. Like I said, even though they've been good to me, they're they're playing with matches. I I still don't like the talent in that. Didn't band. Fetty get shelled by Atlanta earlier this year? Uh, Fetty got shelled by Atlanta and Max Freed. Yeah, he went one and two thirds, gave up five earned, six total. Yep, yep, absolutely true. Six hits, three walks in one and a third. That'll hurt your old whip right yeah. there. So even though you said his last couple of starts were solid, his yep. first start was against this team. So I like yeah, his, his first start, but the four starts since since then have been much better. He's given he's given up just six earned. Correct. I'm just saying Atlanta tends to see him pretty well. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. Um, so yeah, over over should be a solid play there. And having said that, that was a game where Freed sucked as well. Mm-hmm. And yes, Washington lost. They ended up losing seven to six. So, and that was a seven inning game, by the way. That was a seven inning game. That's right. Yeah, I forgot about that. That was a that was the double header. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else you got? You like? Uh, well, I know that we wanted to talk a little bit about one game involving the shitty Dodgers. Yeah, uh, the World Series favorites who suddenly forgot how to play baseball. <laughs> They've lost 10 of 14. What the hell? Uh, what the hell is wrong with this team, Scott? As much as I want to blame it all on Dave Roberts because I think he's a terrible manager, it's also a matter of the team just not producing. I know Bellinger being out hurts the lineup, but offensively they haven't been great. Pitching-wise, they haven't been good. We've roasted the bullpen all year long. There's really just a lot of inconsistencies with this roster makeup, and I think they'll right the ship at some point, but right now – they're in danger of getting swept. Now, of course, uh, having said all that, I like the Dodgers uh, in this game. Now, you're looking at the price. It's about minus 164 on FanDuel, maybe a little bit less in some other spots. But he got Bueller on the mound against Alzale, and Alzale is not very good. Uh, meanwhile, Bueller, of course, is Bueller. He's a phenomenal starting pitcher. I wish I could get a first five, which I don't have, because I really don't want to involve Kenley Jansen or anybody else into it. But if I can find it, I like the first five run line. I just think Alzale is not very good, and it's pretty tough to sweep a team. I think the Dodgers probably come back and win this one. Let me ask you a question, Scott. Dodgers currently plus 325 to win the World Series. That's a substantially better price than when the season started. Think there's still value there? I think there were three – what were they, 300 when the season started? I thought they were like, I thought they were like 250. I'm pretty sure they were 300. Throughout. Were they 300? Are you sure? I remember because I'm pretty sure I said it was a steal at the time. I still that's think not, it's a steal, but, well, you know. Not, that's not aging well. It, uh, I, it might be. Who knows? But the point is, for this one, if the Cubs were starting anybody not named Alzale, I'd be tempted by it. But I think he's that bad. Is it just his name you don't like? No, it's just his numbers this year aren't good. You know, he's got a better whip than Bueller. Correct, but if you look at his ERA and he's hasn't really done ERA, it. what are you stuck in the seventies? Jesus, stuck, I'm stuck in the seventies, man. But you know, Bueller's got A plus stuff. Alzale has, I don't even know, C minus to D plus stuff. Bueller got shelled last time out, Scott. Shelled. What did he, What did he do? He gave up like four to Cincinnati or something. He gave up five and six and a third. Yeah, he had five and six and a third, but he also left some runners on base, and I'm pretty sure. I forgot who came in, but whoever the bullpen guy was completely just gave him all the inherited runs. Yeah, that's why ERA is dumb. Yeah, that's fair. I'm just saying that Bueller got pulled, and whoever they brought in instead was just awful. Alzale's given up two earned his last two starts. Not awful. Mm. Depends how you want to look at it. If, if you want to fade the Dodgers, who are still probably overpriced, that makes sense. I just think that the Dodgers are not going to get swept. You don't think each game is a separate compartmentalized thing? No, I, I, I don't. I actually think there is something with backing teams that are trying to avoid a sweep in most situations. A team as talented as the Dodgers, at least, in my opinion. Hmm, okay. You, you? I'm assuming you're more of an individual game. means. I am. I think, yeah, I think every game is kind of, kind of in a vacuum. I'm, I'm not I think sure. it depends on how the previous game ended. Or I think that there's some role over there and the Dodgers blew a two-run – lead in the extra innings yesterday I think they'll be motivated okay all right um, then again yeah. I, also, I also said I like first five because I don't want to get involved with the Dodgers bullpen 
Yeah, they've been they've been, they've been a gas can, no no doubt about it. So now that Dustin May is also having Tommy John, he's out for the year. Mm-hmm. Is it David Price starting time? I think he has to. That's a shame. I liked fading him out of the bullpen. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, I don't, I I don't know who your other option would be out there. They don't still have Gonsolin, do they? I don't I don't believe I don't remember seeing Gonsolin. This I was gonna year. say I don't think they have him anymore. No, you know, I don't, I don't hate your, I don't hate your five inning play there. Um, and you know, I, I joke about, uh, Ozilay, but obviously Bueller is the, the far superior pitcher. Mm-hmm. Um, and it would be, it seems unlikely that he would have two bad starts in a row. So yeah, I'm looking, I'd be more interested in a bounce back for Bueller personally than I would be just a bounce back because it's another game for the Dodgers that, you know, that we could get swept. So, um, to, uh, of course, Bueller pitching definitely helps. It's just how I'm looking at it. I'll back your first five there. That's fine. Okay. All right. There you go. Uh, anything else? Well, uh, Robbie Ray's pitching for Toronto. Uh, Oakland is minus 120 with Bassett on the mound. Sure. Oakland's pretty much dominated the entire series. They've been very good. Toronto has forgotten how to, uh, what do you call, uh, score runs. Yeah. Well, I know it kind of just contradicts what I said about how it's tough to sweep opponents, but Toronto might not be very good. Or at least they're not looking like it right now. They have a better record than the Dodgers? No. Dodgers, the Dodgers are over 500. I don't think Toronto's over 500. 14 14 right now. And Dodgers are 17 and 14. Okay. So, yeah, still Robbie Ray, man. He's actually been somewhat decent, but he still walks way too many guys. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't. He hasn't been he's been he's been very good. He's and he was he's been very good his last two scots. He's walked no batters for twelve and two thirds innings. Have they won either of those starts? Uh they won the last one against Atlanta and Drew Smiley, yeah. Okay. I'm proud of them. They did. He went six and six and two thirds, gave up two earned. Five five strikeouts, five hits. So the point is you got Oakland at home against the team that's struggling to score. I gotta like Oakland. Yeah, you gotta you gotta you gotta think this is still a good spot. For the Oakland Athletics, they look like they're starting to play good ball again after a little bit of a dip. Mm. Uh, you a big Bassett fan? I think Bassett's actually decent. I know the start of the season wasn't very good. He has definitely looked better over his last couple of starts. Mm-hmm. But it's mostly just a fate of Toronto. Plus, if you think this game's going to be close, I think Oakland's bullpen's better than Toronto's bullpen. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you can argue about that. You know, Bassett has. Uh, Four starts in a row, he's given up two runs. He's gone yeah. six, six innings, three times, five innings once. And it's another situation where um, the Toronto bullpen, statistically, far superior to Oakland. 255 overall, 179 at home. I mean, on the road. And Oakland, 354, 407 at home. So, yeah, it's, you think of, you'd think that you get into the Toronto bullpen – and that's going to be where your trouble lies. But so far this season, they've actually stepped up and done a decent job. This this team is struggling because they can't hit. It, it, surprisingly, it's not because of their pitching. You know, you and I both thought Toronto would struggle because of their pitching, and they have, and they've struggled because of their hitting. So, yep. but I know the one definite plus there for Oakland. I know you mentioned that Ray hasn't walked anybody in his last two starts. Oakland does rank ninth in walks per game. No, yep. and we know how quickly Ray can lose control of the strike zone. If you start yeah. fouling off some three-two pitches there, you might not throw two straight three-two pitches for strikes. Yeah, so. yeah, that's true. Uh, this is an A squad that's just hitting two twenty on the year. They're hitting two twenty against lefties, two twenty for all their games. They're on base percentage though, not bad. Uh, no, no, on base percentage, uh, just about three hundred against uh, lefties and overall. So I'll back your play there. I think I think that's I think that's solid. Although you know I hate I hate not not backing our boy Robbie Ray. Of course, it's just I don't know what this price should be. I think it should be closer to one thirty than one twenty. Yeah, probably. I think there's a, I think there's a little bit of value there. Mm-hmm. All right, very good. As always, if you guys are looking for information on these games or any other games, please remember to stop by and check out winnersandwiners.com. Deep dives and predictions into every game every single day. Uh, best part about it is Scott. What What's the best part? It's all free. It's all free. All free, guys. You can. Uh, there's no other site like it in the world. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you stop by and check out winnersandwiners.com. And that's going to wrap us up for today's show. We appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to give us the like and the subscribe. Of course, for me, for Scott Reichel, for the whole team over here at Winners and Winers, 
Appreciate you watching. Wish you nothing but the best of luck today. Hope every one of those tickets in your pocket turns into cash money when you head back to the window. You guys have a great day. Eat a taco for me. Have a couple shots of tequila. Watch out for that worm. And we'll see you next time on Today in Sports Betting. Take care, everybody.